Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on Ju June the 23rd, 2024, and it's a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. So I like, I, as you could tell, I like to layer up because these temperatures, you know, sometimes I have it too cold in here and then, and then it gets too warm in here and it's like, it's hard to know where to seek seek a balance as to what to what to wear, you know, in our chain in our destructive climate. That is what's happening. You're not gonna know. You know, it can be sunny one in the morning. I mean, and then you know, towards the the end of the night, you know, freezing. That's 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 gonna be the fluctuation for a lot of regions of our country. Where you you're just not gonna know what to do, you know. You you like I say, you you're you know suffocating with heat one one moment, and then in a few hours you're freezing to death. So that that's what's gonna happen in the future, unfortunately, with the destruction of our climate. Anyway, I wanted to come back through on this Sunday morning and talk about something I brought up a while back about trust. I, brought, uh, I, ha I did a video on uh, trust issues. I have trust issues. And <clears throat> I wanted to follow up on that. You know, because it is a part, I said it's part of values and virtues, you know, trust. And I told you with trust, uh, you need to develop that within yourself. And anytime you do have trust issues, it has, it's all about you, no one else. And so that's going to be tough for a lot of people to accept. But if you have trust issues, the trust issues are about you, okay? Not not the not the other way around. So I put out. I have trust issues. That was May fourth, twenty twenty four. So this is like a follow up to uh, to that about trust issues because again, you sometimes you have to repeat stuff over and over and over and over. At least seven times, and that way, you know, eventually, if it's gonna, if it's gonna, if it's gonna um, attach itself to your experiences, uh, well, let's put it this way: with the development of our consciousness, our consciousness is developed through life experiences, not book knowledge. Not, uh, you know, all this other beliefs, you know, a lot of people believe, did, believe this about themselves, believe that about themselves. The development of your consciousness is through life experiences. So that's why we appear in physical. That's why we appear in physical form. But, but ultimately, we are spiritual energy, you know, part of that spiritual energy that created us. Okay. You know, let's say that and, and don't say any more. You know, you have to figure these things out on your own if you choose to. And, you know, if you look at things logically and reasonably, a lot of people are going to come to some revelations. And I know that. And that's what makes me feel good about what I'm doing. Because, again, no one has to know these things. And that's the, that's the power of it, actually. You know, when you go around sharing certain things about what you are doing and, and you know what I mean by sharing uh, a lot of people share a whole lot of things but there's a innermost being about yourself that you could share it all and share it until the cows come home but it's all about life experiences walking the talking and seeing if you get results or not and how you need to navigate through that so trust issues a lot of people have trust issues my goodness I mean you can I can tell by some of the posts I read, some of the conversations I have with people, there's a lot of uh, lack of trust, a lot of it. And um, I think it's at a uh, critical moment, you know, that of the lack of trust that we have in people, especially our government, you know, our law enforcement, you know, all those entities that are supposed to protect us and serve us. We, all of us have a, have a mistrust of, of, that, of, of those entities. You know, a lot of a lot of us have a reason for it because of uh, the brutality on certain communities and the br brutality in general. So trust is uh, something that has to be developed within yourself. 
You know, if you want to go back to that video and listen to that, it has to be developed within yourself. So it doesn't matter what's going on outside of you. You'll be able to navigate through it and get through it. You may not like it sometimes when people breach your trust, but it's going to happen sometimes. Like I said earlier, a few months ago, maybe, I don't know how long ago, we had a breach of trust. And when I say we as a group, I say we as a group and I as a individual because I was interacting with this person and I was an advocate for this person too you know um, a lot of people a lot of people are going to say this uh, and a lot of people say this all the time I told you I couldn't trust that person I told you but you can't say that you can't trust someone unless you have some kind of evidence and something to su support it and you don't always necessarily go by what people are saying too you know, you go by what they're doing. Are they walking the talk? You know, and so sometimes you have to give people a, a, a few a few moments of just let them be, and and, and let them bury them up, bury their own selves because they usually do. But a lot of times we just a lot of times we all want to take on stuff so personally, and think we are so so have so much strength about discerning people. You know, and a lot of people, and that's what you keep hearing all over this social media platform, internet, wherever. I told you so. I told you so. I told you. And then, and then you ask them, okay, and and that's what's happening too. You got all these these people uh, jumping. You know, gosh, I, I don't even know what to call it. You know, when people were coming out, they they were they were complicit, one hundred percent complicit, in knowing about certain things that were going on, but refused to say anything at that time. And now all of a sudden everybody's all over the place saving saving face and say, well, I told you so, I told you so. Have no evidence of they told anybody. No, do, did you, do you have a police report? Did you document it? Did you do a video about it? Did you write it down in a diary? You know, something. Where's your evidence? And most people don't have any of that. They just want you to take their word. And you do, you have a right to take their word if you choose to. But it's just a lot of just all this, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy making. But when you develop yourself properly, you know, you'll be able to discern it and then you can dismiss it. But I bring it up because I'm just helping people to understand how to trust yourself. Trust yourself and you will be provided with the proper information via your consciousness and thoughts and ideas as to how to work through it and navigate through things. Okay, let me take this top shirt off because it's kind of warm in here. And like I said, I layer up. I'll be cold one minute, and because I and then I'll I mean I'll be hot and I'll blow the AC and then I'll get too cold and blah blah blah. So if you have trust issues, I'm going to say this again: the trust issues are within you. You are the reason for your trust issues. And so what you need to do is to just develop, develop yourself properly and know what that means to have, have proper trust in yourself. It, until you trust yourself, it's good, you're just going to keep running into um, unnecessary experiences to kind of wake you up and, and help you understand what that means. So, so when I say I have trust issues, I have trust issues. You know, and, you, and again, you're going to get breached, okay? So if I say to someone, yeah, I trust you, that's all on me. You don't have to prove to me whether, you know, you, know, you, don't, you don't have anything else to prove to me. It's my responsibility to monitor it and make sure it is, it's still valid for me to say I trust you. And if I start sensing that I cannot trust you, okay, that means what? You're going to get out of my life. You know, or you're gonna you're gonna just automatically disappear, okay? Because you're not gonna get that kind of um, you're not gonna get certain responses from me to reinforce it. If if you breached someone's trust, I mean, if if someone's <clears throat> if I sense trust is breached, then that's my responsibility to handle it. You understand that everything comes back to me. So I just want to give you a refresher on that. You can look at, listen to the video and, and you know, contemplate, cultivate it and see what it means to you. I want to bring up another term that a lot of people are, are saying 
and it's and, and it says this is what it supposedly means misanthrope misanthrope and misanthrope is one who hates or mistrusts humankind a hater of mankind can you imagine that can you imagine we we're we're haters of mankind well that is what's acutely happening right as we speak and it's been going on for decades where this has developed to a, an acute level people hating other human humankind and it's it's, it's at an, an a, a critical moment right now where people do not trust anyone um it has a lot to do with um, this other term that uh, was has been, you know, did, I mean that ha that has been going on for massaging massaging as well. Let's bring that up. Everything is like like I said, correlating and relating, and it, and that's why it's so simple. Um, it's all coming together misogynist and this is and this one is one who hates and mistrusts women now if that's not cru critical and crucial and and, a, and an epidemic i don't know what is and this hatred towards women can come from men or women by the way so you know they they hate women um they have a contempt of them uh you know it's been practiced as they say for thousands of years thousands and thousands of years to have a hatred towards women so that's why it's so difficult for it to be in a cohesive um, connectedness or collectiveness more so um, and and again I'm working on connectiveness because collectively we failed okay failure is an opportunity but the, you know but I want to focus more on connectedness. And connectedness has to happen step by step by step by step. You know, as you're building your tree of life, you know, your connectedness is, your, you know, that's that part of the tree of life, you know, uh, in a metaphor, in a, in a figurative manner, meaning, um, you know, I'm the tree of life, you know, in human form. And so I, you know, I am responsible for the foundation of my tree of life meaning I make sure the seeds are properly um, I mean I, I plant the proper seeding seeds and then I am responsible for cultivating and contemplating it which is via care and nourishment water you know those kind of metaphors if you, if you, if you can look at it that way and so with my way as I'm branching out you know literally figuratively metaphorically however you want to see it or however you want to hear it since I receive it, you know, I collect, I, I you know, I, I bring in a collection of things. You know, each branch has, you know, has a value to it as I'm building and building and building, building it upwards, okay? So this hatred, let's get back to that, hatred of mankind, ooh, ooh, that is what's going on at a, at a um, you know, it's that, it's, 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 it's so acute and it's going to it, see because what's happening is is that to me why it's developing is because we're we are invading each other's space you know we're invading each other's flow of energy we're invading each other's um, we're just in each other's way and the reason for it is because of massive, massive overcrowdedness. Massive, massive uh, just interference with the, the development and the uh, and our energy, the flow of our energy. We're just closing in on each other, literally, and more so figuratively and metaphorically. You know, we're just in each other's way. And we all need adequate amount of space to contemplate cultivate and to and to think and you know to think clearly and effectively and think properly about you know what's going on inside of us what we hope to cultivate what we hope to accomplish you know we we all need that kind of space to do so but we don't have it 
we we haven't had it in almost uh, gosh. I mean, I you know I'm reading some articles and stuff that, that I'm self teaching and self educating myself on, and it's from various uh, you know various minds. You know, since we want to talk about the minds of people, let's just say it. It's just it's actually from various personalities. How about that? And when I say personalities, it's the it's the it's it's the human being and you know it's a it's a human form that that we are learning from these teachers these so-called philosophers scientists psychiatrists uh, influencers whoever whoever they whoever they are and whoever they you know make themselves out to be and again so you know when you listen when I pay attention to some of the words that are coming out of the on the social media platform from certain people or certain influencers, certain celebrities, certain just individual human beings, that is what's happening. We're being squeezed in, in an unnatural form, where people do not necessarily want to not socialize, but they know that that is not proper socialization. We're not socializing properly. A lot of it is just superficiality. I can I can remember the last time I went into a, a nightclub, you know, back in the day, back in my early forties, and that's when I knew it was over. Because <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was it was fun, and at one time, you know, when I we used to go in there and we could, I could internet inter, interact with people, just having fun and talking, listening to the, sh the performers, people performing, or listening to the music, you know, just relaxing and. You know, socializing. That's what, you know. That's what what is what's supposed to be. And then I noticed um, when I was, uh, like I said, getting up in, in age. And I remember the, this one club I went into. It, I mean, it was pile. It was packed full, packed full of people, but it felt empty to me. Okay, so and that's when I knew. Okay, you know, this is you know, I just, it just felt empty to me. So that meant, as I was attempting to interact with the, this crowd, um, I was I felt empty. So that that told me, okay, that signaled to me, okay, get out of there, because otherwise, all I would be doing is just, you know, forcing myself to have conversations with people, and th and that's part of superficiality as well, forcing yourself to have conversations with people. And that's why it causes people anxiety. I, I, I can sense that, you know, because it's you, you're not you you know you just don't feel, you know you don't feel connected, you don't feel connected. So that's when I said, okay, that's the end of that. And and it was. I don't think I I don't know when the last time I've been in to a, a nightclub. You know, I'm saying you know the clubs that people used to look forward to on Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> Those days are over for me. I do all this type of socialization, and 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 it works for me. But this mistrust, whew, this mistrust, this mistrust is going to lead to a lot of battles. You know, this uh, this mistrust of humanity, this hatred of me, hu humanity, is going to lead to um, uh, a lot of um, uh, devastating things happening to a lot of people. Just minding their own business. And, and a lot of people say being in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, where it's all of a sudden somebody pulls out a weapon and, you, you know. And so what I would suggest to you is you have to build up trust in yourself so that you can get these instinct, these, these um, birthright instincts on how to protect yourself because it's going to start happening rapidly. Before you, you know, you can be, again, just running to go pay a bill, you know, going to work. Uh, and all of a sudden, something, something kicks off and something starts happening. When you build yourself in your innermost being to trust yourself, trust your instincts. If your hair is standing on the back of your neck, okay, wherever you are, just see if you can get to a place where you can stop. 
and ask yourself, okay, what is going on? Okay, and do not dismiss it, please. If we get these warnings for a reason, physically, these physical warnings, like like someone put up, someone brought up a word. Let me see if I can find it. You get certain words. Um, for you, you get these kind of warnings for a reason. Um, it's it's like a yeah here it's a sudden you get these impulses, you know a sudden emotion. You know what I mean. You have to pay attention to those things, and it may not have anything to do with. Um, it may not even have anything to do with you per se, but it's like warnings to you to to be on, you know, just be be mindful of where you are, what you're doing, and what's really, really going on inside of you. Because it, it all can be um, somewhat coming from someone else and not even coming from you. All right? Listen to me carefully when I say this. Because we are so massively crowded, you're going to pick up the energy of someone. Even though they may be a proper distance from you it's going to feel as though they're right there and you're going to be picking up their energy okay so when you start getting these certain instinctual emotions feelings whatever you call it stop and ask yourself okay is this about me or is it about someone else and I'm just picking up their impulses I told you I put a video out how about how sad I am and I say that genuinely I'm I'm sad about certain things that a lot of people are going to be going through you know all of us are going to be going through something but a lot of people are going to be going through devastation you know uh, catastrophic things uh, a lot of things are going to be happening to a whole lot of us and it, and you know and it, and it makes me sad. You know, it makes me sad because that means you know when you when you have to deal with something, whether it's traumatic or not, you know, you still got to deal with it. And then you got to do this, and you know, you have all these other responsibilities that you have to take care of. So it, it's going to be overwhelming, no matter what anyone says to you. We're all overwhelmed, okay? And that's why you just need to stay grounded. And trust yourself and say, okay, you know, and no one has even, nobody will even know you're doing this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, like, you know, because I know a lot of people are into wellness and they make it visually obvious that they're into wellness because they're, either they're running, they're, they're, they're uh, participating in some type of activity, whether it's weightlifting, running, walking. Uh, you know, you know, physical activity itself. Okay, visually, you know, if we see this person running, if we see this person, you know, walking, you know, kind of like this and, you know, punching. Because I do that sometimes. I'll be walking and punching. That's just, you know, that's just what we do. That those are physical activities. But the most important thing that you have to, the physical, the most important physical thing that you can work on within your innermost being nobody will have to know that okay I say share with somebody that you trust yes you can share with somebody you trust but remember what I said about trust it comes from within so if you are sharing yourself with someone that means you are trusting yourself to handle handle uh, putting that out you know, you, you, you can handle the outcome of that trust, whether it's a breach or not. Okay. Again, we had a breach of trust. And I say we because it was a, a group of us. And it was a collective. It wasn't a connective difference. It was a collective of us working in a wellness environment. We had a breach. Okay. And it, 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 and it, turned, <laughs> it turned people upside down. I was fine. Because I kept sending, I, you know, I kept warning them. I was putting out videos warning people. I was warning them and warning them. But it's not my responsibility to 
interfere with people developing themselves too. They have to figure this out on their own and admit their failures or complicity or whatever, okay? So, a lot of things are gonna, gonna, it's gonna be, happen. And I just wanna get back to this for a moment. And, there, and, and uh, a lot of us are gonna be experiencing some sadness. A lot of us are gonna be experiencing health issues, financial issues, where to stay issues. All kind of issues are going to be coming along in our lives, okay? And a lot of us are going to be looking uh, for relief, you know? We're going to be looking to relieve ourselves from a lot of things. And, you know, we got, you know, we're in a political season. You know, people are lying to us left and right and all over the place. And now we got to deal with that as well as deal with our own issues and our own problems and our own responsibilities. So... A lot of things are going to start happening to a lot of people. And stand by. And it's going to be so important to trust yourself during those moments. Because a lot of you are going to possibly be by yourselves attempting to deal with certain things. A lot of you are going to be stuck here trapped here, um, isolated from help, you know, isolated from people, you know, and those are going to be some, some very, um, you know, because, and I also talk about aloneness and loneliness, okay, and I told you about loneliness, you can be lonely and you have millions of people around you, you can be in aloneness and you can have millions of people around you. And each one of them have have a different effect on you. See, I can be in aloneness by myself, with, you know, and, 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 and cherish that. It's very sacred, okay? Because I worked on myself to know what that means to have aloneness. You know, I can be in aloneness and still have millions of people around me because it's the innermost. Loneliness is a little bit different Whereas you are taking on a certain physicalness of it. You know, you are you applying certain emotions and feelings to it. And you're going to have to work on what that means to you. Loneliness. You know, you, it's, it has here, it's an unpleasant emotional response to perceived isolation. Okay? Do you, you get that? Make sure you understand what that means. And it also says here, loneliness is, um, it is often associated with the perceived lack of connection and intimacy. Okay? So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on helping people to connect. And you have to connect to yourself first. Okay? You can't start nowhere else but yourself. I can help you and I can guide you there. Um, so that's my uh, mission that's my uh, goal, and I'm so enthusiastic about it. I really am. And it's going to take off properly, appropriately. And I, you know, I'm not concerned at all. I know that there's going to be some battles in between. That's just the nature of the beast. Like I said, we are, you know, and, and so you always have to reevaluate stuff. So that's why there will be trials and errors. Failures, possibly, mistakes, breakthroughs. So I just want to go ahead and open this up to you uh, this morning on Sunday, Sunday, um, June the 23rd, a part of the value and virtues that we all uh, bestow. And it's a birthright for all of us to uncover our values and virtues so that we can soar in our consciousness and, and raise our vibration, as a lot of people say. And, and when they say raising their vibration, is this a way of perception, possibly? It's a way of reacting, possibly? It, you know, it's whatever you choose to, 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 to make it to be. Unfortunately, so many of our words are being commercialized. And, it's, and, and, and you're not going to, it's going to be so hard to know ex exactly what it means, you know, to raise your vibration. Because a lot of people are looking at things literally sometimes. 
and not realizing that's a metaphor. And a lot of people don't know how to discern metaphors. I noticed that as well. It's an improper way of discerning metaphors because they have these beliefs lodged in there. Okay? And so discernment, you know, you have to suspend beliefs to properly get the proper information or the proper results. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, on Sunday. And again, develop trustworthiness within yourself so that you will not be concerned about what other people are doing. Develop self-love within yourself so that you can avoid this, this hatred of mankind that's, that's, that's at, a, at an acute level. Some people are going to be hurt because of this. Well, let's put it this way. A lot of massive, a lot of people could be hurt because of this, this hatred of mankind that's filtering in the, in the thoughts of a lot of people. Millions of people possibly that are just seeking re re revenge and retaliation, okay? And they can't accept their responsibilities and all of that. So they have to take it out on you, have to take it out on me, and take it out on others. So trust your instincts, trust the warnings that you are getting, wherever you are. And if you're feeling a certain kind of way, see if you can just stop and breathe and ask yourself, okay, is this about me? You know, and then you can casually look around and, and, and chances are it may not be about you at all. It may not have any, not a goddamn thing to do about you. But you have to just be proper in your discernment. Be kind and gentle. And no one has to know. All right? Peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Trust yourself. And I'll be back.